everybody. Of course, you know, I did a commentary on Rodney Flippin's red card video towards me that was done on September the 4th, 2014. Now it is time to tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth that happened on September the 3rd, 2014. Now, I'm not doing this video for myself. No, 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 no. I'm doing it for the people that were rubbed the wrong way by Rodney Flippin. See, not only am I going to tell about September the 3rd, 2014, after that I'm going to rant on Rodney Flippin and why he shouldn't have butted in after what happened. But first, I'm going to tell you a story that led up to what happened on September the 3rd. Now first, I do want to explain that I am going to tell you everything, everything that is my side of the story that happened on September the 3rd, 2014. And I hope Zaire Nazarek doesn't mind me playing this clip. The simple fact of the matter is, <laughs> most of you don't even have a clue what the actual truth is. So, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you everything. Absolutely everything. <sighs> and I think it's going to be a huge weight off of my soul to do so. There you go. I'm going to tell you everything, like I said. So, let's begin. Alright. Now... I was a part of Aubrey Scott Skype Chats. I was a friend of his that started back in 2011. And we had a great friendship together for at least three years. Now, it could have been longer if it wasn't for what happened. So, what led up to what happened on September the 3rd? Well, first off, I'm going to tell you what happened before September the 3rd, and I'm going to tell you the only true thing about the red card video that was done on me. Now, I do want to point out that I told a joke to Aubrey Scott. It was one of my I Got You jokes. Now, this was the first I Got You joke that I ever told, and it was an inspiration by Bart Simpson. And, of course, you know, I'm a Simpsons fan. And I've been trying to track down season 19. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get it online. But that's another story for another time. But I will tell you that the I Got You joke that I came up with first was the whole I Love You thing. And I wanted to get a reaction by Aubrey Scott. And most of the time I did get a reaction. And when I got... In a reaction by Aubrey Scott, I would say, I got you. And Aubrey Scott would laugh and he, he would like it, so I kept on doing it to him. So one day, back in 2013, I tried to do it on one other person, and that was Gary Newkirk. And when I tried it, it didn't work. Now, this was talked about in the red card video that was done on me. That one person said that I used this whole I love you thing to Gary. And that was true. But the thing about it is, it was one of my I got you jokes. And I thought it, w it would be good if I uh, tried it on another person. And I tried it on Gary. And when it didn't work, you know what I did? I stopped using it on other people. I figured that it didn't work on Gary Newkirk. So I decided not to use it on any more people except for Aubrey. And I did that to Aubrey for a time. And I would eventually do it less frequently. And why was that? Well, it was because it got too repetitive. Now, I know the reason why Aubrey Scott thinks that I was using it personally. And this happened after the red card video that was done on me. And um, it was said in Aubrey Scott's red card video that was on YouTube until 2015. He thought that I took it personally because of one particular person. And that person was Chris Fortin. Because Chris Fortin would say, I love you and all that, and all that crap. But the thing about it is, though, 
And obviously, I think said in his red car video that I was being a replica of Chris Fortin. The thing about it is, I'm not Chris Fortin. I'm Patrick Butler. And here's a fact that you probably didn't know about. I knew about Aubrey Scott's sexual orientation. So I didn't care about loving him in a sexual way because that wasn't the way it was to be. It was supposed to be for fun. It was supposed to be where I would get a reaction and I would tell him, I got you and whatever or not. And uh, that's all that it was really for. I wasn't sexually interested in Aubrey Scott. And I wasn't sexually interested in Gary Newkirk. And I knew about Gary Newkirk's sexual orientation. I knew that he, he was probably sexually interested in the opposite sex along with Aubrey Scott. So I wasn't using it for personal reasons. I was using it for fun unlike Chris Fortin, in which he, he would say, I, I love you to Aubrey Scott and whatever or not, and I hate Chris Fortin with a passion. So that's another reason why I hate Chris Fortin, because Aubrey Scott thinks about that with, uh, with me, and thinks that I used it for personal reasons, which wasn't true. And uh, I was, and, and for the I, I got you joke that I was told, that I told, I would keep on using that until a certain period of time and it was early in 2014 where I it got too repetitive to where I stopped using it as much I would only use it frequently but I came up with newer jokes where I would get Aubrey Scott and I would say I got you to Aubrey Scott and, and uh, I would tell uh, new uh, I, I would tell new ways to get them and that's how I would do it until September the 3rd 2014 now that's with that. That's with the the uh, the part where the red card video was true. That was the only thing about the red card video that was true. The rest of the red card video, however, was bullshit. Especially when Rodney Flippin said that I got 700 or 800 subscribers at a fast pace. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The problem was Rodney Flippin never talked with me about that. See. He had no idea that I had been on YouTube for doing videos since 2007. I'd been on YouTube since 2006, but I didn't do my first video until 2007. See, from that point to 2014, I got subscribers at a slow pace. It wasn't as a, at a fast pace like what Ronnie Flippin said. See, the thing about it is he never talked with me about that. He assumed that I got subscribers at a fast pace, which wasn't true. So that's with that. But the thing is, what, what he said happened on September the 3rd wasn't true. See, the thing about it is, like I mentioned, I'm going to explain what happened. I'm going to tell everything, like I said. So now, this is where I talk about Robin Moore. Now, Robin Moore was, of course, in Aubrey Scott Skype chat with me at one time. I think it was either in July or August of 2014. And there was no problem whatsoever. Robin Moore had fun, and nothing was wrong. No nothing happened. And that was a good thing. And, of course, I think it was, uh, it was probably June or July of 2014. I don't remember. But it was before September 2014. And Robin Moore sent me a friend request on Facebook. There was a reason why I didn't accept it. And that was because of my girlfriend at the time, Crystal Jones, because of her mental health issues. Because at one time, I played song pop, and one of my female friends on Facebook was playing it, and I was playing with her, and Crystal Jones saw that, she flipped out. She thought that I immediately wanted to be with that person, and and that was the big one of the big reasons why I didn't accept Robin Moore's friend request. So I didn't know much about Robin Moore before September the third, and she was a complete stranger to me. And I also thought she was an adult. Honestly, see, I didn't do research on Robin Moore. That was also one of the problems why September the third happened, but. I will say this, I am taking at least partial responsibility for what happened. See, the people that were in that chat are equally responsible. But first, 
I'm going to tell why this whole thing happened in the first place. The whole September the 3rd thing. Now, Robin Moore didn't come into the chat right away. Now, before she came in the chat, I said a funny answer to the Will Fortune category that Aubrey's got made up. Aubrey's got made up the Will Fortune category sweets, and I would say the funny answer, chocolate penises. And of course, Aubrey's got laughed. And I thought that was going to make other people laugh. So I thought that I, I could use it or not. Because before that time, I would come up with funny answers to Will Fortune categories. I came up with the funny answer to occupation. I would say gynecologist. And if the category was food and drink, I would say poop and pee. And if the category was what do you, uh, was what are you doing I would say P90 and getting away with it the reason why I came up with that was because Aubrey Scott came up with what came up with none of your business for what are you doing and I thought maybe I would come up with funny answers to Will Fortune categories and I came up with a, a funny stuff or in a period while Aubrey Scott was doing uh, videos on Will Fortune on YouTube and when I was a part of it of course and the funny answer that I told at that particular day on September the 3rd was for the Will Fortune category that Aubrey Scott made up and that was supposed to be for fun and of course later in the chat and this this all happened on September the 3rd and Aubrey Scott came up with the Will Fortune category suites at that particular day and this was probably in late afternoon the evening time and uh, later Later in the day, Aubrey Scott brought in Robin Moore. And that was the second time that me and Robin Moore were in the chat. The first time, of course, was either in July or August of 2014. It could have been it could have been in June, I don't remember. I don't remember the first time, but I do remember that September the third was the second time Robin Moore was in the chat with me. And uh Around a certain period of time, Aubrey Scott said the Will Fortune category sweets. And I would say the funny answer. And everybody laughed. And uh, what should have happened and didn't, Robin Moore should have said something to me if she was offended by the joke that I told. This would have been around the time where Robin Moore could have said something in her own voice. Now I did see a message down below in the description uh, in the uh, message part of message part of Skype, but that was way after when I was checking the messages on Skype, and this was uh, I think uh, September the fifth or September the sixth. I don't remember which date, but I was looking through the messages and I noticed that my name was called by Robin Moore, and I had no idea why. I didn't I didn't even know if she was offended or not because she never told me in her own voice. If she would have said something right then and there when I said the joke for the very first time, I bet you I wouldn't have said the joke at all while she was in the chat. She should have said something to me. Sorry about that folks. I had to make a jump cut because my door opened and I wasn't too happy when my door opened. It's because of the wind and because the doors that I have are not really closable it became a problem so I put something near my door so that way it would stay closed so now back on to what I was saying what I was saying was that was one of the main reasons why September the 3rd 2014 Skype incident happened was because Rob Moore did not show any communication to me whatsoever and I will say this, everybody that was in that chat was equally responsible. See, the biggest problem that happened was there was no communication whatsoever. Communication would have solved everything. It would have solved this. Things would have been a lot better, we could have all moved on, and Robin Moore wouldn't have been as offended as she was. See, the thing about it is, and there were several other things that I didn't mention. Of course, I had a cold at the time. I, I forgot to mention that. And of course, the people that were also in the chat were uh, Jay York, 
Lee Deschens, I think, and uh, of course me, and later Rob Moore came in the chat, and I already mentioned Rob Moore. And then, of course, Gary Newkirk came in the chat. And this was around the time that all hell broke loose. That is because the Will Fortune category suites popped up again. And people would come up with uh, my, uh, uh, my funny answer in different ways, and I had no idea why. And I thought that it would be good to tell New Gary Newkirk the joke that I told for the Will Fortune category suites. So I did that, and you know what happened next? You guessed it. Robin Moore left the chat. And this was around the time where Gary Newkirk lashed out at me. He really shouldn't have. He really should have been calm. She should, he should have told me about Robin Moore in full detail before I said the joke. Or Robin Moore should have said something to me. See? The problem was there was no communication whatsoever. And I had a cold at the time, so I wasn't feeling my best. And when Gary Newkirk last shot at me, this was around the time that Gary Newkirk told me her age. Up until Gary Newkirk said her age to me, I didn't know her age. I thought she was an adult. I didn't expect her to get offended by my joke. I think she was misunderstood why I... She probably didn't know more about me. She probably didn't know that I used to tell funny answers to the Will Fortune category. She probably didn't know that even. See, if people would have communicated to her why I used to use those jokes towards the Will Fortune categories, I think things would have been better off. No, it didn't happen. Gary Newkirk kept on lashing out at me, and I thought that he didn't want me to be in the chat anymore, so I left. So I left, and I was totally upset. I was totally upset that Rob Moore left the chat because I had, I had no idea that she was going to be offended. I had no idea. And then, of course, Gary Newkirk clashed out at me. And I hated that, too. So, I left the chat. And uh, I really wanted to have my space. That's what I really wanted. If I would have been allowed to have my space and if nobody would have gotten really upset at me after what happened, I think things would have gotten settled. But no. Things got handled poorly. So poorly, as a matter of fact. You know what happened next? The person that did the red card video on me, the first person that did the red card video on me, falsely accused me on Facebook of me using that joke towards Robin Moore. And that person was Rodney Flippin. Because he was telling me on Skype while lashing out at me about Robin Moore. I think he, he was saying, why did you use the joke and why I'm not... I'm not I, 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 I think he said that, but I'm not... I don't remember the messages because I, I deleted them at the time. I deleting them after I was so upset with them because I, I don't remember what he said I do remember the second thing that he said but the first thing he said I I I had no idea I th I thought he was really lashing out at me and I I even said to him that if I would have known about Robin Moore's age I don't think any of this would have happened and then of course he said that I could go to jail I could go to jail or I don't remember how he exactly put it, I, but I think he, he said to me that I was going to jail. I think he said that, but I'm not sure. I, I think he said either that I could go to jail or I'm going to jail. Or he said that I could go to jail for that. I don't remember what he said, but I was uh, that got me so upset. That got me so upset that I almost cried because of that. And that was to a person that wasn't even in the chat. Rodney... Flippin, of course, the person that did the red card video first on me, wasn't in the chat. See, what should have happened, Rodney Flippin should not have gotten involved. That's the first thing that should have happened. But of course, I'm not done yet. The other thing that I ended up doing, I almost cried that night. I almost cried when he, he said all these things lashing out at me. He just made things worse. And uh, later, I, I just needed somebody to talk to. I talked with Nick Bishop on Skype. 
and he asked me, or, or we were talking, he thought that I should apologize to Rob Moore on Facebook. I, I sent a private message to Rob Moore on Facebook, and she ended up blocking me. I had no idea that Ronnie Flippin was the one that encouraged her to block me. Ronnie Flippin was the one that probably encouraged Robin Moore to block me. That was a mistake. That really was. Robin Moore should have accepted my apology because I really meant it. And I even told Nick Bishop about it. I told Nick Bishop that Robin Moore didn't accept my apology. We talked for like like until like two or three o'clock in the morning because I was so upset and whatever not. And around I think around three o'clock I went to bed. I don't remember. But the thing about it is, it was terrible. It really was. I was hurt. I almost cried because Ronnie Flippin lashed out at me and accused me. And I, I, I remembered that the other day. I remembered that. And I had forgotten all about it until it popped right in my head that the person that falsely accused me was Ronnie Flippin. Yeah. And the thing about it is, he shouldn't have gotten involved in the first place. He wasn't even in the chat. He really wasn't. But that's what happened on September the 3rd, 2014. I went to bed and the rest is history. I got red carded on the next day and the rest is history. So now you know what happened on September the 3rd.